hello friends welcome back to code tonight so in today's video guys we will see how we can implement authorize.net payment gateway in asp.net mvc so here we have this sample.net application for mvc and so first thing that we have to do is we have to go to the nugget packages so you can go to project and manage nugget packages and here you can go to the browse option and then search for this package authorize net and you can check the version also here so you can install this version in your project now once you do that now what you will know need is you will need the keys for the api so this is the authorize.net sandbox um, account okay so here you can get the keys that you need so you will go to the account here and in the account section uh, so you can uh, get to this url by uh, so what you have to search is um, authorize.net developer account and then you will have to do the sign up here so this one is the sign up so you have to go there and do the sign up first and then you will get the uh, so here you have to sign up and then you will get the account and you have to log in and you will see this screen here and then you have to go in the account page and go to api credentials and keys here okay guys so here you will see the first key which is the api login id so i will go to the code and here this is used api login id and the other thing that you will need is by uh, you can click on this new transaction here and you can check this one and then if you will click uh, it will provide you a key here okay so because i have already generated and used in the code so i will not regenerate that uh, but you can generate it from here okay so now since you have the two keys now we will go to the code part and also one more thing we will see here so we will go to transaction search and here we will go to unsettled transactions and view so you see there are no records found for now okay so now we will go to the our application and now we will run So uh, we will provide you the code link in the description of the video and I will also show you how you can get this code. So uh, don't worry about that part and if the solution works for you then you can also subscribe the channel and share our video. so here i have this sample page so you can modify it as per your requirement so we will need the card here uh, so authorize.net have a default card so that we can use so we have to use only those adding random numbers will not help you so i will also add this in the article link that i will share with you for this code so you can pick that from there and in the expiration date you can put any date uh, like from future and in the amount so we can enter like so say we will add 13 so now we will click on the submit payment button and then it will get to the method process payment okay so now this method we have added uh, here okay so now getting here we are creating the card type and we are setting, setting the card number and expiration date so now here we are creating the transaction request and then we are setting the environment to sandbox you can change it to production if you need for production version then you can put production here 
okay and now we are passing the api login id and transaction key so these are both here and uh, you can pick those from web config if you need so that will also work fine now we are creating the request here and executing the request so i also forgot to do, uh, tell you about the namespaces that we have to add so you have to add these namespaces you see here authorize.net.context.version1 and controllers and controller.basis okay so now we will get the response and we will check the code so here it executed the request which we created above and this is the response that we got so you can expand this and you can see what it is doing so it is saying successful and here is transaction response here it says american express because we have used that card and then we again we have this message here that transaction has been approved so this one is completed and we also have the transaction id if you want so all the details we have here okay so now guys if we go down we are just setting the message in the view bag you can uh, pick the details from the response if you want and show that anywhere so we are just uh, getting the message payment successful and uh, redirecting them on the page so here it says payment successful now we have seen it from the code side now to verify it has completed actually so what we will need to do is we will go to the uh, developer account that i just showed you earlier so let me find that where is that okay so we will have to which one yes this one okay so this is the last time i showed you that we don't have any records here now we will try to search again so here you see captured pending settlement and this is the 13 dollar amount that we just seen in the video so now if you are worried about the pending settlement here so when we complete the payment it takes some time to reach to the accounts okay so that means it is not settled okay settled settled is when it is reached to the account itself um, but because it has not reached to the account and it takes some time for that so till that time it is saying uh, that it has captured the payment so payment is received by the gateway and now they will process it uh, sooner uh, in the accounts okay so that doesn't mean that that the transaction is not complete or something so that is complete fairly and uh, you can see the same transaction id here you can click on that and you can see the details if you have available okay so this is how we can uh, add the payment with the authai.net in asp.net mvc now if you need the code part then what we can do is we can go to our official website codetonight.com and there guys we will see so you can just search here and we will also provide you a direct link so don't be worried about that so here is the blog uh, implement authai.net payment gateway so we can open up that one and here uh, you will see all the steps and the code that we just seen in the video working and uh, this is the card details that i just added here so don't worry about that part also uh, so this is how you can do that in sp.net so thank you guys and let us know if you have faced any kind of issue so thank you